Lesson 13, Quotation Marks, Part 1. Use a quotation mark at the beginning and at the end of a direct quotation. Quotation marks consist of two pairs of small marks that resemble apostrophes. They tell the reader that the exact words of another speaker or writer are being given. Matt said, I'm going to wash the family car. Quotation marks are not used with indirect quotations. Matt said that he was going to wash the family car. Sometimes a direct quotation is divided into two or more parts by explanatory words. In such a case, each part of the quotation is enclosed in quotation marks. If that team wins, Patty whispered, I'll be surprised. Remember that the second part of a divided quotation begins with a small letter, unless it is a proper noun or unless it starts a new sentence. If you're ready, said Paul, we can leave now. I saw Mr. Pritchard, said Amy. He was in the supermarket. In the first part of the divided quotation is marked followed by a comma that is placed inside the quotation marks. When you wash the car, Dick's father said, use a soft cloth. Explanatory words in a divided quotation are followed either by a comma or a period outside the quotation marks. A comma is used after the explanatory words if the second part of the quotation does not begin a new sentence. A period is used after the explanatory words if the second part of the quotation is a new sentence. Help me set the table, said Mother, and then call your sister. Here's another example. I finished my homework, said Dan. It was easy. Explanatory words at the beginning of a sentence are followed by a comma outside the quotation marks. The period at the end of the sentence is placed inside the quotation marks. For example, my uncle answered, I'll send you a postcard. Explanatory words at the end of a sentence are followed by a period. The quoted words at the beginning of the sentence are followed by a comma inside the quotation marks. I'll send you a postcard, my uncle answered. Now you're ready to do the exercise on page 2 of this assignment.